Hi guys, my name is Z and today I'm gonna be talking about my desk setup. Um, halos lahat naman ng mga binili ko dito, galing lang sa Shopee. I'll just put the link in the description so dun yun na lang tignan if you're interested. And yeah, in terms of the video structure, I'm gonna be talking about the desk and then we're gonna move on to the monitor. And then the laptop, the CPU, and then isa isa natin yung peripherals, and the cable management also, pati the overall aesthetics or the overall look of my setup. So for the desk, I have a built in L shape, and originally it has a wood vinyl wrap, but then eventually I wanted to make it white, so bumili ako ng PVC wall sticker para tapalan siya. And in addition to the L-shape built-in, bumili din ako ng foldable table. Kasi yung L-shape, yung built-in na table, masyado siyang mataas for me. I'm a short person and hindi ako comfortable magsulat whenever I'm using that table. So I have to buy a, a lower and a smaller table. So I found it sa marketplace ng FB. So you can guys just search sa marketplace na foldable table and madami namang lalabas na option. And yung sa foldable table ko, pinatungan ko rin ng PVC wall sticker para magmatch dun sa built-in table ko. Now, when it comes to the monitor, this isn't actually a PC monitor but more of a TV. So, this is the Skyworth 32-inch model 32E390i Smart TV. So, this is connected to the 32 to 55 inch TV bracket that I just bought from Shopee. So, before I have, I actually have a dual monitor setup, but I barely use the two monitors simultaneously. So, I just decided to make this one my main monitor. So, for the laptop, I've been using the MacBook Air 2018, the Space Gray, and Actually, hindi siya yung nag sa monitor ko, but I did include it in this video kasi whenever I'm not using it, dyan lang siya nakapwesto sa taas ng CPU. So, it basically forms part of the desk setup. So, I had to also share it to you guys. Now, for the CPU, I actually, like, to be honest, wala akong alam when it comes to that. But, the one that I'm using is the Lenovo... Think Center M920 Tiny. Pero other than that, wala na akong alam when it comes to the specifications. And hindi na rin ako nag, parang nagpapalit or nagpa-customize kasi hindi ko naman kailangan na maganon. Hindi, onti lang yung games na nilalaro ko and mostly for research talaga, for studying, for watching movies lang yung ginagawa ko. And dalawa lang yung nilalaro ko actually. It's Valorant and Paladins. So, hindi ko kailangan ng grabehang specifications sa CPU na ginagamit ko. Okay, now for the peripherals, my favorite part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about three things, which is the keyboard, the mouse, and the microphone. So, when it comes to the keyboard, before, I'm using the USB wireless keyboard that I just bought from Shopee. And I switched that from that to the Keychron K2 wireless uh, mechanical keyboard. So, ang great feature kasi nito, actually, visual um, wise, yun yun nagusan ko talaga. But then, no nag search ako, they recommended it kasi yung great feature niya, yung 75% form factor. So, 84 keys lang ang meron siya. You can connect it for up to three devices. It is both compatible to Mac and Windows. So you just have to click and adjust something to transfer the connections. Next would be the mouse. Yung mouse ko is the Logitech M221. So it has a over 90% noise reduction. So durable siya, you know, high performance. And it just quietly glides over the desktop. Okay, next would be the microphone. I have the 802020 cardioid condenser microphone. 
So, kailangan siya nung 48V power. So, it is coupled with the Behringer Euphoria UMC 202HD. So, that's all the peripherals that I have. And I'm gonna move on to the cable management. Now, for the cable management, sa right side, I'm using the cord storage box that I also bought from Shopee. And dun na connect yung lights, yung monitor, the chargers of my phone, and everything. And sa left side naman, I am using two shoe boxes to contain the extensions and all the other wires that go connect. So now I'm gonna talk about the whole aesthetic of the desk or the whole look of the setup. So I'm gonna first talk about the lights that I use. So first is the lamp or the bracket lamp. Although ito binili ko sa Shopee pero hindi kasama yung light bulb niya. So I have to buy a separate smart light bulb. So, nag-decide na ako na smart light bulb yung gagamitin ko just because I can connect it to my phone and adjust all the brightness, the temperature, the colors, and all other customizations that I can do for it to add up to my productivity. And another is the banana neon LED lights. Now, I don't recommend buying this neon light from the same shop because Hindi maganda yung packaging na ginawa nila. So, nung na-deliver siya, basag-basag. But still, gumagana naman siya. Although, yeah, I, don't, I just don't recommend buying from the same shop. I also have plants. I actually have three plants na nakalagay sa desk ko. One is a fake plant and the other two is a real cactus plant. So, naglagay ako ng plants kasi na-inspire ako from all the other YouTube videos na napanood ko when... I am still changing the look because it adds up daw to the productivity or the mood na sineset kapag pumuesto ka sa desk mo. So, mas nalalighten up yung mood whenever there is green or may plant na nakita sa desk mismo. I also have two desk pads. Now, the reason why I bought two of them kasi... Gusto ko lang lagyan yung original table and gusto ko lang din lagyan yung foldable table. So whenever I'm using my iPad and I'm using it as a notebook, I don't have to worry about damaging or scratching my iPad. And lastly would be the wood plate and the LED letter box. So those two things were given to me by my friends as a gift and I decided to put them there because I barely used that part of the desk and I'm glad it did work and I'm glad it complemented the look of the whole setup or the aesthetics of my desk. So I think that's all for my desk setup. If you're looking to set up or fix your own desk or office, I hope you got some value out of this. I hope I've inspired you in any way. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can reach me out. I'll just put my info in the description. And thank you guys for watching me ramble about my desk setup.